Hello, 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 and welcome to my computer room. Did you get a 3D printer recently over the holidays? And are you starting to not use it anymore? Yeah, you've gone through and you've done your calibration prints and I'm sure you've got a nice pile of Benchies and Flexi Dragons and Baby Groots. And I'm sure you're gonna finish that Iron Man helmet you started. I, I, I believe in you, I know you'll get it done. Well, you're in luck because in today's video, sponsored by FlexiSpot, more on them later, we're gonna be going through and doing a computer room upgrade, and I'm gonna be featuring some cool 3D prints and projects along the way. So let's get started. There we go, fresh paint on the wall. So first things first, I just wanna preface this video by saying this is mostly to get the ideas flowing. A lot of these prints I'll have linked in the video description below, same with like some of the projects like the Hedamames I'll talk about. But many of these are things that I printed off randomly in an afternoon years ago. So I, I may not have all the links for everything in the description, so you may have to do a little bit of hunting. But this is just sort of to get those ideas in your head on what you can do with your 3D printer. Because I've gone through this myself, where you get a shiny new toy, you go all in, but after a couple couple months, you, you find you're using it less and less. So in today's video, we're gonna try and rectify that. So let's start underneath my computer desk because we're gonna start off with probably the simplest type of print you can do on your 3D printer that is honestly extremely practical. And that is the humble bracket. Brackets, adapters, mounts, and holders are things we all need, whether it's something as simple as somewhere to put your headphones or hey, you got a Steam Deck, you put an aftermarket case on it, now it no longer fits in the dock for it. Well, guess what? You can print an adapter for that. Or hey, you have a device such as uh, my VR headset. It's a Rift S. I, I still play VR occasionally, but you, you know that, that trend has kind of died down, but it's still nice to have it handy. And instead of having to package it up or just store it out in the open with cables everywhere or risk getting light into the, the lenses which can burn the screen, why not print a wall mount for it so you can store it in a convenient place that still keeps it out of the way. And circling back to the reason why we're under my computer desk here, as you can see after the, uh, the update to the computer room here, I've got this sort of mess here. In terms of cable management, I don't have any cable management right now, but a fun little project you can do, and this is a great way to start learning CAD, design custom mounts and custom brackets. These right here are some quick cable management clips that I designed in CAD on a stream one night. Uh, only took me a couple minutes to design it, printed off a bunch of them, and these go right like this. Nice and simple. These aren't that complicated. They just hook onto my desk. I got a place here to put wires in and I stuck a little piece of VHB there just to keep them from uh, falling off if I move the desk around. And as you can see here, we have this nice little bumper on the back here. And this is so I don't pinch any wires when I push my desk up against the wall. So now, hey look, I can start managing these wires so it's not that complete mess like it is right now. Now this is how I'm cable managing my computer desk, but my wife just got a brand new FlexiSpot desk and we're gonna talk about them in a second here. And uh, let's just say having to DIY some cable management isn't a problem with that desk. So let's jump over to that now. Looking for a desk that rises to the occasion? Well, FlexiSpot may just have the thing that can elevate your home office to the next level. Are you tired of sitting all day at your traditional unmoving desk? Or maybe you need a break from standing. FlexiSpot's height adjustable desks have got you covered. Whether you're working from home or at the office, FlexiSpot helps you stay active and comfortable while still being productive. Its four-legged robust design and metal construction make for an extremely stable desk that won't be having your monitor shaking while you work or game. Plus, they're incredibly easy to assemble. By myself, I had everything unboxed and assembled within the hour. And with the ability to sport several hundred pounds, you're not gonna be running any limitations of what you can put on top of it anytime soon. The FlexiSpot E7 Plus Premium Height Adjustable Desk may just be the centerpiece of your home office, computer room, or workshop. Easily adjust the height of your desk with just the push of a button. FlexiSpot desks are designed to adapt to your workflow reducing the risks associated with prolonged sitting and allowing you to work from a position that is most comfortable for you. With a multitude of options from size, styling, color, and accessories, you can personalize your E7 Plus Premium Desk to fit your wants and needs. 
So for those looking for an ergonomic height adjustable desk, make sure you check out FlexiSpot, link in the description, and thank you for sponsoring today's video. Cheers. And there we go. The headphone stand, one of the most simple prints that you can do and one of the most useful ones because yeah sure you can go ahead and buy a headphone stand but when you have a 3d printer you can print the stand that works for you exactly the way you want so uh on my wife's desk here that we just put in we're gonna go with a nice undermount headphone stand and not just headphone stands because now that you have a 3d printer that opens up a whole world of mounts and adapters that you now have access to that you can just print when you need them, customize them to your heart's content, and save quite a bit of money on. Say laugh out loud to live, laugh, love, because why walk into a store with your hard-earned money and asking for one art, please, when you can make it your own, whether it's a little tasteful hummingbird silhouette for your wall, some art to accentuate your computer desk, or a Godzilla face wall mounted in your kid's room because he thinks it's cool. Why spend money purchasing overpriced tat to decorate your walls when you could just make it yourself with a 3D printer and there's all kinds of ideas and contests and designs out there to pull from. So uh, decorate your place today. Okay, this is more comfortable now sitting actually at my computer and that's what we're gonna be talking about next because my computer has a RTX 3090 graphics card, which is an absolute chungus of a graphics card. They're getting pretty big and to help support that weight and keep it from sagging, I have a 3D printed graphics card support in my computer case. That's just one of the many small or practical prints that you can use for building a computer. My old computer, which was most recently my wife's old computer, uh, the fan died on the CPU cooler a while ago. And while I had a spare fan, it was the wrong size. Well, guess what? 3D printed adapter to the rescue. Heck, if you want, you can go all out and even 3D print an entire chassis for your computer. And as for my daily driver headphones when I'm at my computer, these right here, they are 3D printed. They're called Hedemames, and we built these on a live stream uh, twice now, because I built the original version and the updated version that I have here. And these are mostly 3D printed uh, headphones. Yeah, there's electronics in here that you can either self-source or purchase uh, from a kit from Hedemame. Uh, but the actual body of these are 3D printed, and they've been my go-to headphone at my computer here for like, two years now, they're, they're great. And the best part is because they're 3D printed and the files are out there, you can customize them to your heart's content. These ones are open back ones, these ones are closed back. Uh, you can go with different materials, different designs, different colors. And if you drop them and you break apart, well, guess what? You have all the files, so you can just print a replacement. And that's not the only 3D printed thing I use regularly here at my computer. Whenever I'm doing a live stream or recording a segment here at my desk, uh, this is my OBS switcher. This isn't a uh, stream deck like you can purchase. This is a DIY version of that that I built quite a while ago. This is all 3D printed. There's electronics in it, of course, but it's a fun little 3D printed project. and. This is basically just a macro keyboard. You could use this for editing software, CAD software. I use it for OBS, uh, but that's another fun little project that while you know it's not entirely 3D printed like some things, you, you do have to do some electronics work. It should give you an idea of some of the other larger projects you could do out there using your 3D printer and tying it with another hobby that you have. For example, I fly FPV quadcopters on occasion and there is a ton of 3D printed accessories and components that go into that hobby, whether from just simple camera mounts to bumpers to radio antenna mounts. There's all kinds of 3D printed accessories and ways that you can augment or enhance an existing hobby uh, that you're part of with a 3D printer. And I mean, yeah, sure, they're always spying on you, but these 3D printed mounts for Google Home Minis are uh, pretty nice to have. Are you into props, miniatures, minifigures, D&D? &D? Well, pick yourself up a resin printer. With a resin printer, you can do insanely high detailed models that just come out amazing. And uh, if you're looking for some models for a D&D &D campaign, uh, you, you just like printing and painting models, minifigures, or uh, you really like 
you know, Warhammer 40K, but you don't like taking out a 401k to fund it, and you really like annoying games workshop lawyers? Well, with 3D printing, there's a whole wealth of models out there for a fraction of the price of purchasing off-the-shelf models. But make sure you're following all local rules and laws, of course. Or hey, did you get a last minute invite from a friend asking would you kindly come to their costume party? Well, with 3D printing, instead of a last minute run to the store, you can make your own mask. What could go wrong? So now we're out here in the garage and I'm gonna talk about one of the bigger things I'm currently into involving my 3D printers and that is cosplay and props. So, you know, last year I finished my Mandalorian suit and I wore that around East Coast Rep Rap Fest. Well, with 3D printing, getting into cosplay and prop making is extremely simple and it's a lot easier than it used to be back in the day because with 3D printing, the manufacturing aspect of cosplay and prop making is a heck of a lot simpler. You're, you're no longer having to DIY vacuum forms and make molds uh, and form plastic. You can, you can just print, finish, paint, and go a lot of the time. And also, in the background here, you can see several 3D printers. Now, yes, some of these are commercial off-the-shelf machines like the Prusa and the Bamboo, but a lot of these are my Vorons. That is something else you can do with a 3D printer. I, you can use your 3D printer to make 3D printers that you can use to make 3D printers that you can use to make more 3D printers that you can then use to make more 3D printers. It, it, it's a rabbit hole, it's elephants all the way down, but if you get involved with 3D printers, at some point, you're probably going to either build one or at least entertain the idea idea of building a 3D printer and uh, yeah that's something we've done quite a bit on this channel. But here's a little something else for you. You know the uh, the big shelf of 3D printers you were just looking at? Well it's in my garage. My garage, like most garages, has a slanted floor and you really don't want a giant rack of 3D printers leaning. So to keep everything nice and level would you look at that? A humble 3D print. Quick shim that I've catted up in two minutes just to make sure I had the right height printed it in some ABS and it's been out here for about a year now. It hasn't moved, so so I would say that's working shimmingly. And since you've probably started collecting filament for your 3D printer, you're probably gonna need somewhere to put it all. So why not build yourself a rep rack? It's a quick, easy DIY project using 3D printed parts and some dowels and or EMT conduit and you have a nice, nifty, easy to use filament storage that you can put on any wall. And not everything has to be a super massive project. This is my camera that I use to stream from. This is my Rode Wireless Go. And I wanted a way to attach it to my camera. So instead of, you know, buying a cold shoe, I, I just 3D printed one. Yeah, you can buy them for like five bucks. They're not that expensive, but you can have this printed in like 30 minutes if on most printers and uh, you probably already have the plastic for it. It's just a cold shoe, just, just, just print one. And some things are just for fun. Yeah, you know, this is the Milo V1.5, a mostly 3D printed CNC mill, but you know what else is also fun? A Nerf blaster that can shoot 240 FPS. And we built several of these on the channel and they're just fun. Yeah, you can go buy a Nerf gun, but you can also build a complete custom one that let's be honest is better than most that you can buy. It's fun to build and uh, it's, it's a Nerf blaster. Everyone loves Nerf blasters. And if you don't love Nerf blasters, you're lying to yourself. Admit it. Go build a 3D printed Nerf blaster. They're fun. Do it now. Like seriously. Do it. So don't forget, a 3D printer is just a tool. So always be on the lookout for ways to use it effectively. And also don't forget, use code CANUCKCREATOR for 10% off your order from GamerSupps today. So I hope you picked up some good ideas. 3D printers can do way more than just printing out the random meme print of the month for easy internet points. It's, it's a tool and it works best when you pair it with an additional hobby. Yes, 3D printers of themselves can be their own hobby. I think we're up to the fifth or sixth time we built a V0 on my live stream, for example. So 3D printers on their own are a great fun hobby. 
But when you pair them with an existing hobby or use them to accentuate or enhance something else, that's where they really come into their own, in my opinion. So I wanna give a huge shout out to FlexiSpot again for sponsoring today's video. Check them out at the links in the description. I wanna know what your favorite practical or useful 3D print is. So link that in the description as well. And while you're down there, don't forget to like the smash button. If you wanna help support the channel, the content I create and the things I do check out some of the links in the description. Some of them are affiliate links, don't cost you anything extra, go a long way in supporting the channel. And if you really want to help support the channel, consider becoming a channel member or a Patreon supporter because I can't do the things I do, create the content I create without your continued support. I'm Nero3D, the Canuck creator. I hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers.